You wouldn't want to use any of these coins for a coin flip. My name is Dominic Shawnee, Ancient Coin Specialist at Baldwin's, and today I'm going to be talking about minting errors using blue tag. On the obverse, these three coins all look completely fine, but they hide a secret. And this secret is a minting error that has plagued moneyers for 2,000 years. And if we flip them over, we can see the issue. I'm going to look at this Victoria coin first. It's a shilling, and we'll flip it over and look. We have another portrait on the reverse, but this portrait looks a little bit different. Again, if we flip over this half penny, there's another portrait. This isn't just an error that's confined to modern milled coinage. Here we have a silver denarius of the Roman Emperor Hadrian. This is almost 2,000 years old. We can see the emperor's portrait on the obverse, and if we flip the coin over, there's a portrait on the reverse as well. So why is this happening? And how come we have a coin that was minted 2,000 years ago that has exactly the same problem as one that was only made about 150 years ago? This kind of mint error is called a brockage. And I'm going to demonstrate how this happens. What we need is a flat surface like this book and a disc of blue tack. We put the piece of blue tack on the book and we take a coin that you really don't mind damaging. This is actually a forgery from Victorian times. It's very, very low value, but it's perfect for what I want to demonstrate here. So what you have to imagine is that this piece of blue tack is a blank. And a blank is a disc of metal that has yet to be minted into a coin. You then have to imagine that my hand here is a die that is gonna stamp this coin. It's gonna put a design onto this coin. So if we pop it down here, I'm gonna take this Victorian imitation of an ancient Greek coin. You have to imagine that this coin has become stuck in the minting process to the die. And what's gonna happen is this is gonna come down on top of the fresh coin and it's gonna leave an imprint, a bit like we've seen on these brockages here. And if I come down as if I'm striking the coin, the coin that's been stuck to the die comes down and pushes onto the blank. And if we remove it, we can see the design of the coin that was stuck to the die imprinted onto the blank. So like with these coins, the design on the bottom of the blank would look like the coin because that's where the design is on the bottom die. But the top die has been replaced by the coin that came before it. So what you end up with is basically two portraits on the same coin. And this is how a brockage is made. And if we compare our brockage made of blue tag to a proper brockage of Queen Victoria, we can see they're very, very similar. The Queen Victoria coin has been stamped by the coin that came before it, resulting in two portraits and a very, very interesting mint error that has plagued coin makers for centuries. So what effect does an error have on the value of a coin? Well, coins from the ancient world with mint errors are actually relatively common. Um, they were churning out lots and lots of coins quite quickly, and you do get errors getting into the mix. They don't add a huge amount of value. Um, this silver denarius of Hadrian with the brockage is probably worth about 250 pounds. But, you know, a denarius of Hadrian in a similar grade, probably worth about 150. So you've got a little bit of extra value because of the error. Um, the Victorian coins, it's a similar story, um, but generally more modern errors are worth more money because the minting process had become mechanized and it had become very, very accurate. Errors are harder and harder to find. And in the US coin market, modern errors can reach quite considerable sums indeed, particularly brockages and instances where coins have been half struck. So I hope you found this Blue Peter style investigation into brockages and mint errors interesting. Maybe you should check your change to see if you can find any modern mint errors. They might be worth quite a lot of money. <laughs>